I'm back at Epcot and the trams are dropping off really quite a distance from where they usually drop off. You can see there are barriers set up ahead. So it looks like just about every park has a long, long walk to get in. And there goes Monorail Red. So I don't know exactly what's going on here, but I have heard that they're going to start taking down Leave a Legacy. So we'll see when we get inside. And we are still walking. Way up there is where the monorails typically drop off. And here we are back at Flower and Garden. And you can see these two people are posing for a picture and they are in front of the Leave a Legacy explanation. And this talks about the program which is ending very, very shortly. But look at that beautiful picture. So here are the Leave a Legacy monoliths. And you can see over the years, people have left their images and their messages behind for others to see. But they've been saying for a while now, they're going to remove all these to make a cleaner looking entrance. It hasn't started yet. Maybe they're going to wait until the end of Flower and Garden. Personally, I was never a big fan of these to start with. So I'll be happy to see what they have in store for the new entrance to Epcot. But let's go inside now and experience Flower and Garden. I was here earlier, but there's plenty of food to eat and I missed an awful lot. And it closes in just three weeks. So we're gonna have a good time today. And look at this mob at Spaceship Earth. 50 minute wait. Everyone sees Spaceship Earth when they're entering the park, and so they all get lined up for it. Well, my last visit I didn't see Mater and Lightning, so let's get a look at these topiaries. I had a 9 a.m. fast pass to Soren, but it was a late night at Magic Kingdom. It was open till midnight, so I didn't get to my room till about 1.30. So I wasn't even gonna get up and get over here in time for a nine o'clock fast pass. So I'm just gonna miss that one. So there you can see Guardians of the Galaxy. Of course, that's still under construction. And to give you an idea of the layout, there is the old Body Wars Pavilion. And as we keep going, we see Mission Space. And the noise that you're probably hearing is Test Track right over here. And if we were to keep going, we would see the monorail. But no monorail is passing over right now. And now we're in the Garden Terrace. And there's something here I didn't see last time. It's a flower and garden collector medallion. And I'll show them to you right now. They're $5 a piece, or three of them for 10 bucks. And here they are. So the copper ones just say flower and garden. And the gold are figment. And these kind of bronze looking ones are also figment, but he's just peeking over the coin. And then we have Mini with the gold. You can get a better view of what they look like. Mini, Figment, Figment again, and Flower and Garden logo. And here are the pass holder souvenir items. We have shirts and drinking glasses. And I think the things off to the side Oh no, they are only pass holder. I thought these were for anyone, but it says right in the pocket, pass holder. And that looks like the same picture of Goofy that you can get in that figurine. And there are some pass holder hats. And some pass holder goblets. And look at that. Get 25% off as a limited time bonus in addition to our pass holder discount. If you're going to be around beginning August 29th, this is the food and wine 
merchandise for 2019. And there's something over here I wanted to show you. If you're someone that likes to look for Spike, they have a pollination exploration card and it shows all the different locations where you can find a little Spike. There he is. There's Spike. And you buy this card and then as you find him, you fill in the stickers. And there's our Spike hat. And of course, Spike is a constant annoyance to Donnie. That looks like a fun little extra thing you could do, especially if you have kids. I think kids would just eat that up trying to find Spike in all those different gardens. Flower and Garden is drawing to a close. There's only about three weeks left, and they are offering a $15 price on these. That's about half price. Because as we look at the headbands, I think these are $29.99 and now you can get them for only $15. I imagine they'll show up in the outlet store before too long. And we have Flower and Garden socks. A flower and Garden clear carrying case, little clutch purse I guess they call that. That's $17.99. So those items were just released the day after I left on my last visit. Now I come back and they're putting them all on sale. Liquidation, clearance. Rush right out. It's not going to last long. These are nice little garden stakes. And what do they say the price is on these? $24.99. And someone on one of my recent videos said they should get Spike on these. And I haven't seen Spike on one of those. Yeah, this guy. I don't know who he is. My first little taste, I think, is going to be at Trowel and Trellis. And they have the chocolate pudding terrarium. Will you look at that? Yum yum. And that is five dollars. So there's a chocolate pudding terrarium. Wow, fancy schmancy. Look at that. There are little flowers and things that uh, look like fruit, berries, some plants there. Let's see what that is all about. What are these? Are they edible? I don't know. That tasted kind of minty. So yeah, I think it was edible. All right, let's dig in. Wow. Tastes like chocolate pudding with a lot of stuff on it. Sprinkles and crunches and different things. Oh, there goes Daisy. Boy, that was really good. The pudding was a little soupy, but overall pretty good. And this sign outside of Disney Traders is exactly what I have in my basement. Some of you may have seen this in my videos. But let's head over and get that frozen violet lemonade. And there's Donald tending to his garden with those two pests, Chip and Dale. And his nephews, Huey, Dewey, and Louie. And I wonder if this is where Spike lives. Right here in this bee nest. And here they have grow your own topiaries and they're priced at anywhere from $24.99 to a whopping $500 for a large planted Mickey or Minnie. I don't know exactly what that large planted Minnie or Minnie is, but I'll bet that it's pretty impressive for $500. And here we are, Pineapple Promenade, the home of the frozen violet lemonade. Just a minor disappointment that they are out of flowers, so Usually this has a flower on top, which is part of the special atmosphere and the feel of getting this at Flower and Garden. But it still tastes just as good and refreshing. And it's time to head into Old Canada. I hadn't done this in years, and now I've done it both of my last two visits. It's a good show. You know, there's lots of waterfalls and rivers that look an awful lot like this. And who do we see in the Shakespeare Garden? Well, yes, we see Shakespeare, but we also see our old friend Spike. You all remember Spike. I think he was in A Midsummer Night's Dream. 
Or was that puck? I don't know, spike puck. Same difference. I thought I'd take a look over here and see the Skyliner station or as much of it as we can. And then we'll go over to France and try to get a bird's eye view as well. But it really looks to me like you will see quite a bit of the backstage area. So I'm really curious as to what that view from the Skyliner is going to be. I'm not seeing any of the cars up there right now, so they're not doing any testing. But I hear that it's fully operational, although I've not seen it yet. So once again, there's the Skyliner, and there is France, currently under construction. So I really wonder if they're not trying to fix things up just to make them more appealing from the Skyliner. I thought as long as we were out here, we'd get a panoramic view of the boardwalk area. So you can see that we start with the beach club and the yacht club. I'll zoom in a little bit. I've stayed there before. And there is the dolphin. I've stayed there before. And over here is the swan. I've not stayed there. But I did stay at the Boardwalk Hotel, which you really can't see from this view. Hidden by the trees. Very pretty. And they have the friendship boats that will take you around. And here we're looking back at France and you can see a little of the Skyliner peeking above the treetops. And that's a nice little river walk. And this is what it looks like from France. Not very pretty with that gray roof. Here at Florida Fresh, I'm going to try the spicy blackened shrimp. Although I don't really like spicy. I know here at Disney they're pretty mild with it. And they also have the key lime tart. So let's give it a try. So here we've got the spicy blackened shrimp and cheddar cheese grits. And the key lime tart with meringue. So we'll try some of that grits first. That does have a little bite to it. So let's try that shrimp. Not a lot of spice, very mild. Um, you get the flavor of the blackened, but it's not overwhelming. I like it. I'll try this key lime tart right away. I'm not sure what that is on top. Maybe it's like a piece of white chocolate. Let's find out. That's exactly what that is. Tastes like white chocolate. And the tart. Let's try that. Yeah, it tastes like a key lime pie. Very good. Very refreshing. Now, a little bit of white chocolate on top. And just nice to give it a little different taste. So, this is a good choice here. Be aware, the tail is on the shrimp. So don't try to take that whole piece of shrimp and just bite it. So I thought that was a really good pairing because you get a little bit of that spice with the shrimp. But then if you finish it off with that key lime pie, it's nice and cool and refreshing. So I would recommend both of those. As I said, I'm not big on spices, and that was just about right. I wouldn't want to get any spicier than that. Now let's head to Morocco, and I'm gonna try an old favorite. Actually a new favorite, it's something I discovered last time we were here, and I really liked it. And that's that chicken kebab. And here it is, the chicken kebab of Marrakesh. So here in Morocco, I got the chicken kebab with the chilled couscous and the honey walnut baklava. For the record, I am here with someone today who prefers not to be on camera. If it looks like I'm overeating, we are sharing this with someone. So if you saw my last video, you know this was one of my favorites. Mmm, and it didn't disappoint. Very, very good chilled couscous. A plus. And now to try the baklava. That was a good stop as you know. I really love the chicken kebab. The couscous was chilled. Just delicious. However, I didn't care for the baklava at all. The flavor was okay. Uh, not great, 
but that's my taste. The first one I'm here with, absolutely loved it. I didn't care for the texture either. I prefer something that's light and flaky, and that was really tough and chewy, but I guess it's just a matter of taste. One pointer, get your utensils and napkins before you order, because once you walk away from the counter, your hands are full, and if you find a place to eat, you find a table, you don't want to have to leave your food at the table and run back and get your napkin and your utensils. So that's just a little hint next time you come to one of these festivals. So now what we're going to try is the Achigo Sun. Is that what that's called? Strawberry lemonade cocktail with sake, strawberry puree, and lemonade. So there it is, looking very milky white. And let's see how it tastes. It really tastes of sake, kind of like a sweet wine. Um, doesn't suit my taste, but I can see if you're a fan of sake, but it's chilled. Sake is usually served warm. This is chilled. Not bad. Welcome to America. But tonight's concert is going to be Starship. Those of you who saw my video last year may remember that I was here for the Starship concert. But the concert that I sat at, the last one, was when we got rained out. Do you remember that? And here's where I stood during that rainstorm underneath those umbrellas. It was terrible, but right now it's a beautiful sunny day. And here is Spike in the Italian garden. Now it's time for the German pretzel with the ham and cheese. Oh, it's so good. This is a toasted pretzel bread topped with black forest ham and melted wire cheese. That is so good, but you are going to need a drink after. So much salt in the ham. Pretzel with cheese. Oh, so good. This is the Hugo cocktail from Germany with sparkling wine, elderflower, and mint. Let's have a taste of it. Mmm, that is really refreshing. By the way, I made that at home and I videoed it. I just didn't put it out yet, so I'm going to have to show you that. It's so easy to make and really tasty. While I'm showing you things, let me show you my new phone and phone case. I just got a new phone this week, so I got the case yesterday at Tomorrowland. At the shop, I'm not sure what it's called, but it's right by Space Mountain. So it's a good phone cover, but my phone feels really dirty now after putting it down on that table. Again, I got this at one of the kiosks. You can choose your own design, make sure it fits your phone, and um, then you pay for it and it takes about 15 to 20 minutes and you can pick it up and you're ready to go. break was refreshing but I am really getting full now this is really cool rain gear here's a tiki bird uh, it's not a poncho it's actually a raincoat but it is very lightweight it's made out of the same plastic poncho material but you can see it has a hood and it has ties and snaps and that is really cool and it also has a tiki bird umbrella if you're a fan of the enchanted tiki room very nice for rainy weather. And I wonder how that tastes. Ice cream frozen slushy beer. It's a weird combination, but you never know what they have here at Epcot. And this is quite an impressive topiary. In Chinese culture, dragons are symbols of good luck, power, and prosperity. And here are all the things that we can find in this topiary. And if this tiger was in my backyard, 
the squirrels and chipmunks and ground squirrels would be all over it eating that corn. <laughs> now we'll take a walk through the tropical rainforest right next to Mexico. Wow, very impressive. There it talks about the forest floor. The understory layer where sunlight, rain, and air movement are limited. We come out to the Mexican pavilion where you're not allowed to climb, as tempting as it may be. And I love Mexico, possibly my favorite pavilion. This line is ridiculous. Wow, and it spills all the way out into the shopping area. And that topiary is possibly the most impressive one in the entire park. And on entering the Butterfly House, I got some go-go squeeze apple apple fruit on the go. That'll be so refreshing. A lot more must have hatched since the last time I was here because butterflies are everywhere. And I still don't know the difference between a chrysalis and a cocoon. I call them all cocoons. And it's not like coming to Epcot without a stop at Club Cool. One of my favorite places to cool off. I think the pineapple wins by a nose. So refreshing on a hot day. Before I head on, I'm gonna pop into the spaceship for only a 15 minute wait. That's worth it. going to bring things to a close for this trip to Epcot. I'm going to head back to my room. I'm going to wind a little bit, cool off, and I'm walking through these monoliths. And this might be one of our last times to look at them. So let's scan them one more time. And they get taller and taller and taller. According to Disney's website, from three feet all the way up to 19 feet. Is your picture on the monolith? I have some friends that are on there, but not me. And I wonder when they move them out of the park, are they gonna move the entire monolith? Or are they just going to take off the plaques and put the plaques on display somewhere? There are over a half a million images here. Most are faces, but not all of them. As you can see, some of these are little messages. That says the Stillers, Roxanne, Zachary, Abigail, Chris, March of 2004, and so on. So thanks for joining me, everybody. As always, I encourage you to like and share the videos. Please leave your comments down below, and if you haven't already, please subscribe and ring that bell icon up above so you know when I post new videos. Thanks a lot, everyone. I'm Mark from the Average Me Channel.